How are you? Cheers. So my <clears throat> recent videos were talking about how the energies have been really bringing a stillness to us and slowing us down and um, it's been a big clearing it's been a big a really big strong time of clearing out and clearance not just physically clearing out your space you know sprinkling and detoxifying but very much so having to let go of things you've been pursuing that have been wasting and draining your energy. So anything that you've been trying to force into place that just isn't happening, maybe it's a relationship that's just not working and you know, the angels are saying, honey, you gotta let this go. Maybe it's a job that you're stuck in, that you feel trapped or a place that you're living or um, <clears throat> it can be any situation that's been pressing on you since January, December, um, that you, you thought by, you could action it into a place that your ego wanted it to be. But actually the universe is saying, no, you can't force things to happen that will take you off your path, that are not meant for you at this time. Um, you can't, you can't skip the process. There's a journey taking place. There's, it's like when you eat your food, you have to digest that food before you can get the nutrients from it. You have to let the nutrients be broken down and assimilated and absorbed into your body to get the best, to get the energy, to get the fuel, to get the nutrients. Well, it's the same with the experiences that we've been having, <clears throat> especially since the full moon on the 19th of February. You can't rush this. You can't skip parts of the process. Um, another way to look upon that, we could say, well, when a woman is pregnant, she can't get pregnant and then have the baby a few days later. She has to go through the process and there is a process at play. But know that even though it can be uncomfortable to have to sit with yourself in that process, the angels want you to know that this is worth it. That there is, like you are mining gold. There's going to be beautiful treasures at the end of this mining, at the end of this um, this juicy process that we're, that we're going through energetically right now. And that you can't, you can't ask people or situations to become what they're not. You have to let the true nature, the true essence of what is surrounding you the honest truth of it this is a time of acceptance this is a time to say take your blinkers off wake up this is what this is and if it's not right for you you have the right to move on you have the right to leave you have the right to choose something that is better for you the rest of february going into March and we have a Mercury retrograde starting in March. I think it's March 6th. Should be very interesting. Um, it's about being very present. It's about being fully here, showing up for yourself. Doing what needs to get done, to be honest. It's, it's the things that you've been putting off and that's going to tie in with the Mercury retrograde because retrogrades are redoing, reevaluating, reflecting, you know, tying up loose ends. So things that you've just been putting off and putting off, um, 
the energies for February and early March are not going to let you put things off anymore. You're going to have to pull up your sleeves and get the work done. So you may as well whistle along and sing a song and just make it easy on yourself. Um, approach it with a really positive attitude, with an attitude of openness and acceptance and stop dragging your heels. This is not a time to drag your heels. Like action is the name of the game for the last two weeks in February. Um, but doing that at a pace that is natural to you, doing it at a pace that is respectful to your body, to your health, to your well-being, um, and that requires presence, that requires lots of meditation practice, um, lots of stretching, lots of long walks in nature, sitting down and having those conversations that we need to have with each other. Maybe you've been putting off a conversation. Maybe you've been putting off taking action towards something that better suits you because you were afraid of hurting somebody else or being disloyal or any of those um, illusions. Because at the end of the day, if you're not loving and respecting yourself, the only person you're not being loyal to is yourself. And that's the truth. True loyalty is about you with your soul, your soul and you. That's the, that's the number one relationship. Everything else has to come after that. You and source, you and God, whatever you want to call that energy. I call it source. You might call it God. Um, you might call it Jesus. It's about really being deep in the stillness. Be still and know that I am God. It's a beautiful quote. It's about being so tuned into that and so accepting of the silence that the truth and the inspired action, the guidance of that inspired action can flow in. It's about getting into the flow, being in the flow and tuning in so that you can take the next step at the right time and you'll know when it's time because you'll just everything will fire up in you if you're pushing something if you're forcing something if you're trying to manipulate something through action that's motivated not inspired you're going to get yourself into trouble so you really got to listen to yourself you've got to pay attention to those signs and symbols that come up um, there'll be a lot of synchronicity there'll be a lot of repeated symbols sent to us in the next few weeks. Clearing out, allowing there to be space so that we can let new fresh energies in. I mean, spring is always about that anyway, but it's particularly pertinent in this fifth dimensional 2019 energy at this time that we allow what is dead wood to fall away. There's some old ideas, old concepts, old beliefs that must be spring cleaned out of our consciousness now. It's really important. Allowing that clearance, that cleansing, you know, um, and that applies to friendships. It applies to our diet. You know, what foods are you eating every day that don't agree with you? Stop eating them, you know, explore new foods, new ways of eating, new diets. Um, it really is about creating an open consciousness that allows new ways of being to come in. There are new ways of being in the 5D that we never dreamed of, that we've never as a civilization embraced or lived before. Now is the time. Now is the time to be open to a new lifestyle, new relationships, new home, new vibrations, new higher upgrades, lots of upgrades the last few weeks, especially on the 19th. But yeah, I've just been like, the upgrades have been really, really crazy. Um, so you will need to rest more around that because upgrades do exhaust us. So if, you're, if you need to take extra rest, go into the stillness. Angel blessings.